this is how you fix the rust. So we secretly have been doing an all-wheel drive swap this whole time. He just didn't know about it. I had no clue. So we've done some of the steps already. This isn't step one. Obviously, we have gas tank and subframe are out. We've got the engine and transmission out, which you don't need for an all-wheel drive swap, but we're going to a different shell. Anyway, drive shafts out. Um, we do still need to get the rear e-brake cables and the carrier bearing um, pieces here and here. So that's that's all we have left to get off of this. We are gonna get the harness as well, but we'll get to that. For the all-wheel drive swap, we need to get these two things and the e-brake cables out, and well, we'll need the knuckles, but. We'll do that later. We'll do that later. Um, we are not gonna be using any of these bolts, any of these for the subframe on the front wheel drive shell. We got something else and we'll show you that. But right now Cam is gonna drill out some spot welds and I'm gonna work on the subframe. There it is. Number one down, the other one to go. The other one to go. That was the hard one. Hey, that you did real good, Cam. Those you, have you are done so this spotted. before? No. No? Wow. <laughs> what did you want? A hammer? A hammer, yeah. Bonk it off. But... Well, just grab it by the. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And there's number two. So we just got the parking brake cables pulled out because they're different between the spider and this. We also got the wiring harness out, which wasn't too bad, but we don't need that kind of mostly. We're getting rid of the auto, so that's a lot of the harness gone, which is good and it simplifies things. But now we're gonna move on to getting the subframe bushings out because those get replaced with the all-wheel drive swap on the spider. So we'll get working on that. Yeah, they're pretty much, we're getting real close to being done with this shell. Yeah, which has me excited and kind of sad because yeah. I've wanted this car for, since I was 14. Yeah. When you first drove it to my house, but oh well. Now it'll be, now it'll be just yours. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. In addition to getting the bushings out, we're also gonna have to cut out the toe arms since the bolts are seized to the inner bushing sleeves. So we got all the bushings out. It's all cut out. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad when you get the right tools. We had to get some Diablo blades. Um, the lower control arms, those came right out, which was good. You had to cut the toe arms out. Yeah, we had to cut both the toe arms out. Um, but we got all these bushings out. So now Kim's going to hit it with a hamburger disc. Yeah. Show us what a hamburger disc is. It's that. Yeah. So he's going to hit it and knock all this junk down. And then, uh, and then, yeah, we'll clean it up, paint it, and put new bushings in. It's gonna look very nice. It'll look real good. And Isaiah's here; he's helping. So, 
We need to plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? It's getting there. Yeah? Yeah. You doing the Lord's work on this thing? I'm doing DSM Jesus stuff. Oh, it's DSM Jesus. So we're cleaning this up. Yeah. It's going pretty well. That's it. Yeah, it's going pretty well. You're getting it. We knocked the loose stuff off. Hit everywhere you where you can reach with your tools, and uh, our rust encapsulator will take care of the rest. Um, it's going to be so much better than when we took it out. Yeah, and it wasn't that bad at first, but once we started knocking stuff off, it just kept getting worse. Mm hmm So we're we're just taking care of everything. It's gonna it's gonna look real good. Okay, so Cam did a real good job getting this thing cleaned up. Um, because he did such a good job, it's gonna look really good. Yep. This is empty, cleared out. Next, we are going to pressure wash it, mineral spirits it, and paint it up. And then we'll put the bushings in, we'll get the rear diff put in, and we'll get it fully assembled, ready to go back in the car. That way, by the time we're almost done with the car, we can just throw it in without needing to wait for anything else. Yeah, it'll just be good to go. And um, we can clean up this mess that it makes doing this. This is a dirty job. It is. If you've never done this, it's a dirty job. It's worth it. Don't, don't skip it. Right. Do, do it, it. Do it correctly. Do it correctly as best you can. Um, and you'll be really happy that you did. Oh, yeah. So, yep. So next, we pressure wash. After a good pressure wash to remove the dirt, we hit the subframe with the classic mineral spirits treatment to remove the grease and get it ready for paint. Since we're going to reuse the lower control arms, we're going to refresh them with some wire wheels, paint, and new poly bushings. How's it going? Very good. Very good. Look at this thing. Clean and painted, and it doesn't look like garbage anymore, so that's fun. Yeah, that's great. It looks like it's uh, looks like you stole it from somebody else. Um, we also got the aluminum diff bushings in. These are the Torque Solutions diff bushings. We got um, these two, and then the last one's in the diff. But um, yeah, so he's just finishing up the last coat on this thing, and then we can start putting all the arms and stuff in it yeah. and the diff so good I'm work excited. you're what i'm excited wow the tow arms and these are actually for a front wheel drive you can still get these um we put a poly bushing in it and uh the only difference is you just have to run a spacer when you use the front wheel drive uh, tow arms. So yeah, we have the spacers. If you get the poly bushing kit from Prothane, it comes with these spacers. So you can get some brand new arms and this has a replaceable ball joint end. So if we ever need to put a new ball joint in it, we can. And so these arms should be good for as long as we need them. There you go. Let's get some bolts. Now, Camden's getting the diff. We're gonna put the diff in there. We're gonna try. That's what we're gonna do. Come on, Cam. We'll torque it when it's in. Come on, Cam. Go around that way. Go around. Yeah. I'm standing over here. Come on, Cam. Come on now. Oh, yeah. That's a diff right there. Yep. 
Okay, that's where that goes. Weld it. Weld it, that's right. We don't need it. All right, the diff is in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna bolt this in now. All right, this is as far as we're gonna get with the rear uh, subframe till we put it in the car. Um, we got the diff in, torqued with all with all three solid bushings, solid aluminum, because Camden swears he's gonna road race this thing. Yeah. And we just, we don't want any flexing. Zero, nothing. Nope. Nope. It's either gonna break or go forward. And it's going forward. It's right. It's gonna break it. Right. I'm just too good. Too good. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna move on from the rear subframe. While we wait for the subframe bushings to come in, we're going to focus on getting the old shell off the lift, which means it needs a rear end to be able to roll around. So we're going to take the front wheel drive subframe from the new shell and put it on the rusty all wheel drive shell. Two. Too bad at all. No, nothing's rusted. This is a nice shell. So what, so what we have here is these are the um, the knuckles from the all-wheel drive, and they are rough. Uh, there's a lot of dirt on here, but there's also a lot of mess up stuff. Um, these bushings are toast, as you can see. Those bushings are? There were. They're supposed to be. Um, so we're gonna take these apart so we can rebuild them and make them better. So. Uh, yeah. Come along with us. After a fresh coat of paint, the knuckles are ready for reassembly. So we got the rear subframe here out of the spider, and we don't have a subframe up in the original talon, but we've got to move it, but we can't because there's a big hole there. So what we're going to do is take the front wheel drive subframe and put it in the all wheel drive car, which will work. It'll just only use the back holes there on the subframe, and then we're going to hook up the trailing arms and shock and then we'll be able to roll it out I and mean, we can't drive it like that but we'll be able to roll it around move it how we need to and then get the other car up on the lift nice so yeah we're gonna put this up in there's a lot of unanswered questions about if you can do this and we still don't even know in theory it should be fine so we're gonna try it and you'll see if it worked or not So these, this was one of the bushings from the rear toe arm or lower control arm. Um, and the all wheel drive studs are longer, right? So you have to use a spacer to put this thing up in. So we found that these, if you cut them a little shorter, 
fit right on and give you the perfect spacer to put this subframe on like that and then Camden just uh, tightens it up German spec Guten tight. that's right so there the uh, subframes on we've got trailing arm bolts in we have the shocks on we just need to put a little bolt in there to hold it but i i think it'll roll you can see it's interesting the the hole in the all-wheel drive subframe where the front wheel drive studs go it's just like in the front wheel drive subframe these are holes up here where the all-wheel drive subframe goes so um it's it's interesting you could uh you could definitely do a front wheel drive swap we kind of just did yeah but no but no so yeah, this thing's pretty close to being able to roll around again. That's pretty cool. This is a nicer subframe than what we pulled out. <laughs> oh yeah. But now, now, when we pulled out, it's <gasps> Oh, wow. It's beautiful, Camden. Thank you. It's I beautiful. I it myself. You did. As you can see behind me, the new Jimmy Two Talon Spider Talon all-wheel drive swap talon is going up in the air. Wow. We, yeah. We finagled it and finagled it with jacks and crab walking to get it on the lift. And we're in the home stretch now. All we have to do is all the work. Let's take a look underneath this thing. Oh no. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Every time. Wow. This thing's clean. Yeah, this is real clean. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. There's always a little bit of that. Everything else is... That's water, I think. Maybe. I hope. It's fine. We're not using it. Yeah. All that is uh, clean. Mm, boots ripped. I don't see any rust. Do you, Cam? No, I see a rip. That's fine. We're not going to use that boot. It's made for walking. Oh, man. The exhaust is cut. Oh. I took my catalytic converter. That's over there. Yeah. Okay, well we can work with this. This is great, Camden. What do you think? I think it's a lot better than the old Jimmy. Yeah, I think so too. That'll do it for this one. The next episode, we pull the engine out of the new shell and get it prepared for the all-wheel drive swap. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it.